We are Luca, Sara and Lucio from Liu Live Everything in Wonder. After testing our self-converted minivan Luigi as a family of three, we decided to sell it and look for a bigger vehicle. In Germany there is a strong camper van culture and you find a pretty thick market for second-hand RVs. So in today's episode we are leaving Italy and we are going to see it for ourselves. We are leaving Lucky Land. We are hitting the road and we are really excited. Will we find the vehicle that will check all the boxes? First pit stop, we will sleep one night here in Merano. Where I had lots of contractions. <laughs> yes, here is where Luce was uh, inside uh, Sara's belly. Yeah, this is the place where I was born and Luce was born in uh, back in March. In this room she slept the first night yes. when we came back from the hospital. Yes. And now we are here one night with Zio Dave, Uncle Dave and my dad, Daddy Remo. And that is uh, grandfather Remo no, now. No, no, no Remo. And we will continue tomorrow. We decided to stop one night here so we don't have to sleep in the van and we can stay all together family together is always a pleasure yes we can have dinner all together and yeah. uh, tomorrow we will be entering Germany yes we are very close to the border with Austria and then after Austria there is Germany so our destination tomorrow will be Munich if we'll be able to do it we are trying to not drive too many hours for Luce even today was quite long but she did very well like always she's a champ super, uh, super Luce super, super Luce duper. super duper a traveler a baby traveler beautiful people we will relax a little bit today was a long drive yeah. I have a little bit of headache me too uh, welcome to the club <laughs> welcome to the club so we will relax uh, and uh, we will catch you later. Dave made us some delicious canederli. We are leaving Italy and we are entering Austria. From Innsbruck up, you have to have this big net, a vignetta, that you have to pay before entering Austria, and then we will have to pay for the tunnel. Then in Germany, it will be free. In Italy, we pay the toll roads, in Austria, the vignetta and the tunnel, and then in Germany, Will be free for the autobahn uh, the highways yes everybody basically stopping to buy this uh, vignetta this kind of sticker that you put on your yeah. uh, windshield like here we have the one for switzerland mm -hmm. 2016 it's kind of one of those uh, but i believe uh, uh, the one for switzerland is uh, for uh, 12 months one year yeah. mm -hmm. and uh the one we are buying here, I think it's only for a limited uh, amount of time. I think 10 days. Yeah. Stretch, 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 stretch. Luce, we are at the Passo del Brennero. We are about to enter... Austria. Austria. Here is where you buy the vignetta. Last stop in Italy. Last stop in Italy. As you can see everybody stops here. This is the vignetta, the vignette. It's valid only in Österreich, in Austria. We paid 9.60 euro and it's valid for 10 days. And we are officially in Austria. Yeah. Oh, more than the first country, Austria. Actually, what we are going to pay right now is not a tunnel. I don't know 
why I said tunnel. In France, we have the Fréjus tunnel just after Torino, where we leave to enter in France. This but is a bridge. Yeah. This is a bridge, and you need to pay for the bridge. Here is where everybody needs to stop and pay. Okay, the price of the bridge is 10 euros 50 cents. So now we'll pay. For crossing Austria, we paid 21 euro and 10 cents. How do you feel to be back on the road? <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, slowly, slowly, the anxiety feeling is going away and the adventurous uh, adrenaline uh, is coming back. 18 is the limit here. You have to pay attention in Austria. They are very strict with all the speed limits. So here in this uh, stretch of the highway is 80 kilometers per hour. Sometimes it's 100, now it's, what? Now now it's 100. 100 and it's changing. All the time. All the time. So you really need to stay focused. Deutschland, we are in Germany. Another country for you. <laughs> Another country. <laughs> in few hours, ooh, the price of the diesel and fuel is super expensive here. Yeah. It's more than uh, in Italy. It's over two euros here. Over two euros a liter. So un tedesco bancato. Luca is loving the landscape, the panorama, yeah, the views. I mean, I love these wooden barns, uh, farms, I don't know. I love wood and they are all made of wood. Beautiful. And everything is so clean, the road is perfect. Everything is clean, pristine, it's kind of new. Even the old things that you see that are super old, they look like perfect. Hello beautiful people, we are at the first dealership to see the first vehicle. Lucia is super happy to be here, she's enjoying. And uh, the first vehicle that we will be seeing is this one. 2004 Fiat Ducato. Two seats in the front. Yeah. Ah, this one was the one that I liked the, the floor. The floor. <gasps> so I can see. I hope those two seats are registered. I don't see any seat belt. Any seat belts in there. What do you think? Well, we must ask them for yeah. the document. Yeah. And see if for the registration. Of course, we want uh, a vehicle with four seats with seat belts uh, in order to put. Uh, uh, Luce there in the back and be safe. Yeah, this is a layout that we really like. Can I go inside? See. I think. Okay, so we like the fact that you have two seats in the front for us and then the table and then other two seats and I love that there is a huge bed in the back when you can where you can open the doors and you can have the beautiful view and then you have pretty big space, storage space, and there's also the toilet. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Morning, do you like it? <laughs> yes, there is the bathroom with the toilet, storage, the window, that it's good. And then this one, the sink. Ah, 
sí, sí, ya. Yeah. You have the citas. And I think that this will become, you can, a, bed. become a bed as well. Yes. Yes, you have to come with me inside and see. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I fit here. You barely fit. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Mosquito net. Perfect. 2004, but it's in good shape. Yeah, I already saw a few details. Mm -hmm. A few things that are broken. Okay. But so let me show the things that I already spot. Okay, I see some infiltration of water in here, but okay. you know, here is where you cook, so probably yeah. it's just because they keep washing. And then I already spot a window here, it's broken, so this uh, needs to be repaired. It's double wind, so only the, the one in the exterior, then there is one in the inside, it's like double, double window. from the exterior let's walk around there eh, Lucia have a walk around huge storage down there already spots a few locks here so you can lock from inside I spot already here a screen this one you will open and you can close all of that but there are not here on the sides and uh, I see the AC air conditioning We have here two cooking stove, the sink. I like the fact that it is foldable, so when you don't use, when you are not cooking, you can use this. Wow, this hot! <laughs> you can use this space for for everything that you need. And this area is also very beautiful. And I like the fact that you have lots of storage here. So this was something that I didn't like so much when I saw on the picture that we have the fridge, we have this kind of closet built here with the fridge. This layout, we really like it a lot. I would prefer here to have two benches so you can have the space here in the middle free, even for Luce, you know, it would be better, I guess. But this is doable because there is not so much stuff built underneath and then all over you have storage 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 air conditioning that it's very key for us maybe we could install a turbo vent a vent you can turn both of these seats on this side so you can actually eat all together and stay all together and also the table is removable and foldable we have to check every time if they have the document, all the documents that we need for importing the car in Italy. So we have to check first because if they say no, we cannot have it, or if it's not registered as a scamper, we cannot import this in Italy easily. So. And plus, uh, we need four seats registered uh, yeah. on the documents. Uh, so when we import it to Italy, we have four seats uh, where we can actually uh, drive uh, and they have three points seat belts, I mean in a one, two and three, the normal seat belts, yeah. uh, that is one, uh, two and three, three points. Yes. So this is a must for us Let because... Try this seat. Yeah. It's comfortable. Passenger side. Uh, it's really tall because uh, it has the yeah. the mechanism to turn around so it makes them a little bit taller 
But you can touch your feet. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> I'm not so small. My beautiful wife. <laughs> My beautiful husband. You have this, uh, how do you call, arm Here, chair. Here, it's not... It's, I cannot stand completely without... Yeah, because there is touching. a huge storage up here. But usually you don't stand. No, and I, I don't stand like this. Saw this uh, yeah. that you can turn, uh, pull it up. Ah, that's nice. Okay. There are a lot of things to do, as you can see. There is yeah, some it's tape. Not perfect. It's kind of old. In two years, uh, it will be 20 years old. This is listed 21,990 euros. How many kilometers? 114,000, almost 115,000 kilometers. Okay. But there is air conditioning, there is the bed in the back, there is the bathroom with the shower and with the toilet, there is a table, there are these um, turning chairs. Turning chairs, and there are also two registered seats for Luce and maybe for another member of the family in the future. Who knows? But it's better to have four instead of three. We will be staying uh, in Germany for a few days. Uh, we, don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We have about a maximum 10 days uh, here. And uh, <laughs> yeah, Luce, are you happy? 10 days uh, traveling. And uh, we will be seeing a lot of vehicles. Uh, this is the first one, uh, but it's not the last one. The only problem is that Germany is huge. So we will not stay in the same place. Here we are close to Munich. And then we'll go to Nuremberg and then we'll go up to Dusseldorf. So if we see something in the beginning and then we fell in love with something at the beginning, then we have to cross Germany again. But this is part of the game. Somebody told me to check if the kilometers uh, like uh, 115,000 are so f a little for this vehicle. So they told me to check here and see if actually they are, you know, used and they are kind of new. So I can tell that this vehicle, it's real. The, change the mileage, uh, it's real because that's, that's new. But uh, the 20 years old, uh, almost 20 years old, uh, you can tell. You can see also here the paint uh, is starting to come out. Uh, but uh, a little bit of rust uh, down there. There are a few things uh, I will give a luce to Sara and I will see on the roof and I will see under the vehicle before coming back again. You can see here that these are things that you can fix. Uh, the window probably we can replace that. Uh. For sure a vehicle like this in Italy will cost five, six thousand. <laughs> Euro more. more, at least, even 10 sometimes. We want to buy a vehicle that we can use, uh, that we can enjoy. Yeah. So this is an option. I mean, all the things that we are looking in a vehicle are there. N not many things to, to do if we want to start traveling s straight yes. away. So, I mean, a lot of details to fix, but just details, they are not functional. So yeah, we have we, to see if it's running okay, yeah. if it's okay, so I will, I'm ready. We will talk with the dealer yeah. now and see. So basically all these other vans and campers and motorhomes they are not in our budget. <laughs> Let's select it. And beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vehicles. Huge. Wow. Did you try with the daddy? From there to here, I saw you too. <laughs> it's funny because uh, we asked for this vehicle that is the cheapest one that they are selling <laughs> over here. And uh, all of these are starting for from uh, 45,000 up. A uh, lot of them are new. Yeah. The one he's just parking uh, here in front of us is about 250,000. Euro, you know, so we ask, where is the vehicle? Ah, it's in the back uh, where nobody can see it, you know, like, uh, uh. but uh, it's, okay. We, it's okay. We know the potential of 
old vehicles, uh, vehicles that people do not want anymore. We, we had Lucky Liu that uh, is one of those that uh, was ready for the junkyard uh, and we gave a second life. Uh, we made it from Alaska to Argentina with an old vehicle. And uh, yeah, we are looking for this kind of vehicles from 10,000 to you know, 20, 25, we don't know yet. We, we need to fall, fall in love with, with the vehicle and uh, Lucia too. <laughs> Now we have to run to the next one that is one hour away from here. This location is beautiful. It reminds us of Canada. Canada. In the middle of the woods. Uh, it's beautiful. One road. They are driving fast. They don't even. Yeah, they don't even uh, slow down. No. Uh, they go fast. Uh, and it's uh, just like. <laughs> what are you doing with your elephant? <laughs> it's beautiful. When we will get there, we have uh, probably 30 minutes uh, to watch uh, the next vehicles uh, because it, it will be closing uh, when we get there. So. Yeah. And we are lucky because that place that we will be visiting now closes at 6 p.m. Usually in Germany, every place closes at 4, 4.30, 5 p.m. So this is open pretty late. If you think that we woke up uh, in Italy at uh, Sarah's uh, father's house uh, and then we managed to cross uh, Austria, enter in Germany, see a vehicle and now hopefully see a second one and all of this with an almost five months old baby with baby Lucia that she's, she's a doing traveler a, yeah, yeah <laughs> she's like doing so good uh, she's awesome you're awesome is this the most beautiful little baby girl in the world Lucia yes you are the explorer let's be adventurous time to change look at the size of this one okay this could be my dream vehicle yes. even this one i like this one also this one but the used vehicle here started 51,000 euro. Yeah. This one uh, probably are around uh, 120, 200. Yeah. Know. This is 110, for example. Okay guys, all of those uh, where you can see gebraut, uh, yeah. means uh, used, uh, all of those uh, are already sold uh, and all of the rest one is, uh, everything is new. Or for renting, yeah. he said. Here at the second dealership uh, we couldn't find anything of our, on our pre price, price. On our price, German already. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find anything on our price range. We are moving uh, towards our next destination, that is uh, Nuremberg. So we have about two hours uh, from here, but uh, it will be already uh, late. So we will find a place where to park and sleep uh, over there, and then tomorrow morning, where the when the dealership will be open, uh, we will be able to see some uh, other vehicles so it's kind of windy outside that's why we, windy? we are in this strange position <laughs> so let's hit the road uh, yes. and uh, let's go to the next destination we didn't have lunch today we just had breakfast at home and then we decided you know with breastfeeding Lucian stopping for her stopping to check the vehicles uh, stopping to buy the vignette and then to buy everything else so we 
We just rushed time, here yes. in order to see at least these two dealers. So tomorrow we have about four dealers uh, in the yeah. area that yeah. we are looking, but all of them uh, close in the evening at uh, 15, at uh, 3. 3 p.m. 2 or 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, so it, it, and they open at 9, yeah. but they are quite far one from each other. So we hope to be able to see as much as possible tomorrow. Uh, we decided to drive it now, so tomorrow in the morning we are already near in, close to that place at least the first one yeah. that is a little bit outside uh, the city mm -hmm. okay let's go ciao ciao once in a while we need to stop uh, and let uh, Lucia out uh, walk a little bit uh, otherwise she starts crying uh, she needs to eat uh, Sara breastfeed her and then uh, we need to let her digest the milk. But you can find some beautiful places where to walk. It's next to the road. Yes. <laughs> and we arrived in our spot for the night for the night it's very dark outside so we don't know where we are actually <laughs> in the middle of nowhere but there are other fellow Few. travelers yeah fellow do you need this campers. for sleeping yes thank you we know that we have a few spots that we can this part of the closet we can open when the bed is done it's open so all we need for tonight and for to tomorrow morning we need to store it up here in order to use the things uh, when the and bed is open the diapers for the wipes and diapers for for baby luce for luce the all her toys <laughs> books our blanket and everything so we have to think about it before we open the bed otherwise would be messy. Are you ready to go to sleep? Ha <laughs> 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 